mailbag time. Let's see what's in this bunch of packages today. And don't forget to click like and subscribe if it's your first time here. Or if you like mailbag videos, let's see what we've got in here. My red knife needs sharpening again. Alright, it's two more of these ZIF sockets. So these are 16 pin ZIF sockets. I don't actually have a particular purpose for these right now. I did buy a bunch of them all at the same time. Yeah, they've finally all arrived. I was waiting ages for these. I think it's like two months, three months, I think, since I ordered these. Anyway, I've got them now. Now I need to find somewhere to put them. Let's see what's in this thing. Hmm. Here we go. Let's punch more of these little rubber plugs. I showed these previously in the mailbag. What size are these? 4.3 millimeters. Sometimes the 3.8 millimeters is a little bit loose in a socket. Not often, but usually they seem to be all right. So I've got the next size up, which is 4.3. So that's half a millimeter bigger. Might be a bit of a tight squeeze in a little 3.5 mm socket, but um, there might be times where you want one which doesn't come back out. Who knows? There'll be links for these things down below too, don't forget. Now this one's already practically open. <laughs> that's not me, that's how it came. Next question is, is it all here? I don't know. So, we've got some long screwdriver bits. And sometimes you want a long bit. It's got a little holder as well, put them all in. But these are all crosshead. What size are these things? This is pH2. Alright, so pH1, pH2 again. PH1 again, PH2 again, PH2 again, PH1 again. Well, you've got different thickness shafts, that's why they've got the same sizes. PH2 again, and then the PH1. But yes, it's got different size shafts, so you can fit different size screws. So, those are only basically two sizes, look at all the difference on the tips. You see how different these tips all are, even though they've got, all got the same ratings, but different tips. Anyway. I'll have to sort those out later. And this set, I think I just left this original packaging because it's obviously flat blade ones instead. So, yeah. Sometimes you need a long reach screwdriver and these would be great for that. I mean, sometimes you get normal screwdrivers which are sort of this kind of length and you can't quite get down to the holes. In the past, I've actually made a screwdriver. I actually cut one off and welded two bits together to make a long screwdriver. It wasn't great. It worked, but anyway. Now I've got some long bits because I thought I'm going to need them at some point. Let's get some. Again, links down below. Thanks to my Patreon supporters as well and people that support me through YouTube memberships. They help to supplement my income and allow me to buy things from our bag. Here's some chips. Not real packaged, but it's in 7406N. Let's see what this is. I've got an idea what it is based on the feel of it. Yep. It's not a sample book. Diodes, Zinner Diode Sample Book, MELF, MELF, not MELF, get it right, MELF, Zinner Diodes. It's also got some 4148s as well. Again, just because they could come in handy. No particular use otherwise. Here's a box from DigiKey, let's see what's in here. I do like this packaging they use. It's fully recyclable. Brilliant. So what do we have here? MOSFETs, P-channel MOSFETs. So IRF 5305PBF. Probably be an overlay. And some relays, G6K2P, DC 5 volt. A couple of them. I think I've already got some of these from somewhere else. But uh, MOSFETs I don't think I had. I need this for a project I'm building. Now you have this big package. Here one nice big package. Seems there's another package inside. Awesome. Right, this is what was in it. Let's open this one up. There we go. I asked them to make sure it's well protected and let's put some cardboard backing on it. This is good. This is an original manual for the AC voltmeter, the 400E which I've picked up, which I've got one sitting there waiting to me to repair, or s at least refurbish. Um, 
it's got some update information here, manual changes. So what date is this? 1966, printed June 1972. So this thing is actually older than me. Anyway, operating instruction seal operation. Get a bit of tape over those staples there. Alignment calibration stuff. Performance checks, replaceable parts list. And circuit diagrams, although unfortunately it's ripped. Might have to put some tape on the back of that, stop it getting worse. But yep, original circuit diagrams. Lovely. It's there as well. So I'm gonna have to put some tape on these to protect them. That's good. I'm happy with that. So I thought I'd get this because it's always nice to have an original manual for something that you, could, that you own. Now you can get electronic manuals or you know some kind of semblance of an electronic manual. Sometimes they're not very good. Sometimes they're really good. I saw this on eBay. I thought, right, I have to have this manual. Even though I may not need it, I own this piece of gear which I need to refurbish or repair. I don't know. You haven't even powered the thing up yet. So I thought I'm going to get the manual while I can get one. It wasn't cheap, this thing. But then, you know, how rare are these? Really, worth getting it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, especially if you want to see more repair videos or be repairing and refurbishing this thing or anything else I may be working on. Anyone who watches the channel normally would know this, but if you're new here, then you probably want a reminder. Down here is a playlist that I think you should watch. There's a playlist here which YouTube thinks you should watch. There's a subscribe link right here, and there's a Patreon support link right there. You want to help support the channel and help them to buy more things to do videos about. Catch you later.